Let's begin this lesson by going into Pages and opening up Staff 1, 2, and 3. Now we have photographs on this page, and we have our buttons, our inter-page navigational system, these things right here. Now if we go live on this guy right here and click here, basically we have a no button. So we know basically that when you come over it, it's no. But I guarantee you, some people will still click it. They'll go, what does that mean? Well, I should click it and see what happens. And then they get all upset because it's not doing anything for them. So let's do one more thing here by adding a behavior. But before we do, let me say one thing about behaviors and transitions and the things we're going to talk about. They do bring life to a site. You can make something bark like a dog if you want to. You can make things jump. You can make them move left and right, up and down, sideways, appear, disappear, whatever you want to do. But don't forget to use them to support what you're trying to say. Don't do them just to impress somebody that you can do it. When we start losing track of the message, that's when things will fail for you. We're going to change this one on this page. We don't have to do it on Staff 2, actually, because there are actually just two of these. And we have to do it on Staff 1. Let's just begin with Staff 1 right here. Now, this little icon right here that you see that doesn't appear when it's live just means it's a library item that we never disconnected. We don't have to. We can leave that alone. But we do need to select it. Now, if you don't see behaviors over here, which I don't, go up to the word window on the pull-down menu and go down to behaviors. Now, since we're using behaviors a lot in this chapter, why don't we drag it over here and put it right in there? Now we have it. Now, you have to select in a behavior what you want to apply the behavior to. So we do have this selected. Click the plus sign right here. Now, there are a lot of things. We could spend a lot of time here. I want to do an effect. So I'm going to go into effects right here and do what's called a shape. You can play around with these things all day long. They're kind of fun. Target is the current selection, yes. How long do you want it to last? Now, that's one second. I'm going to change that to actually 500 milliseconds or a half a second. Direction can be left, right, up, or down. I'm going to go left. Distance, that's way too much. I'm going to change that to about 5 pixels. And I'm going to change the times. Give it one more shake. I'm going to go 4 right there. And click OK. Now if we go back live, you'll notice, let me go ahead and bring it up a little bit. We still get that. But if I click now thinking it's supposed to do something, it says no, it's not going to work. Maybe one more visual to let them know that nothing happens when you click on that. Now let's go ahead and go to Staff 3 and repeat the procedure on this one. But we do have to get out of Live to do that. Select it. Come up here. Go into Effects. Shake. You could try other ones if you want. Shake to me is kind of like no, so that makes sense. And it is the current selection at 500 milliseconds. And direction left is fine. Distance is going to be 5. And time is going to be 4. 4 shakes. We we'll click over here. Go live again to check it out. And check it out. Got to click. And there you go. It's kind of neat. Now you'll notice if I get back out of live here for a second and click on it, the reason it's doing that is because it is on a click. And that's the default. That's what we want. But if you select this, you do have other options if you want to choose that. Let's go ahead and close these out. It's going to ask us to save them. We'll save this one. Now it's also going to ask us to save some of these dependent files. And if you want it to work, you need to. Click OK. OK, we can close the middle one. I don't think we did anything to the middle one, so it probably won't ask us anything. And then we'll go ahead and close this one and save it. OK, there you go. Our first behavior, actually our second technically. We did behaviors on our menu system, didn't we? And we've given that icon, that no icon, the ability to actually shake one more visual that it's not going to do anything for you. 